Well, you know, in the uh, initial stages, we did see an increase in appointment cancellations, both for individuals and groups. Um, once everybody sort of locked down at home, um, that was just the scenario. People were not coming out. Um, and so imagine, if you will, you know, that we rely on a lot of group donations to help fill our clinics on a regular basis. And whether that be a corporate group, which is now working from home, or a school group, which of course is not in session. So um, that was very worrying in the, in, in the beginning. Um, we have, you know, since the call to action that we placed on the middle of March, uh, we have seen an increase in bookings, which is fantastic. Um, but we've also now are dealing with um, the reality that, you know, outside of places like Barrie, where we have a permanent donor center, um, we call it a mobile event where we, you know, sort of come into town and set up at a community center or uh, maybe it's a church or even a hotel or something like that. We were finding that in the initial stages, uh, once the municipalities closed all their facilities, um, we were left to cancel a lot of events. And that certainly impacted us greatly. Uh, our donor centers are a safe place to be. And really, you know, if you think about of all the branches of the healthcare system, you know, we are generally where the healthy people hang out. So um, we only accept uh, blood donations from healthy people. And if you've ever been to a blood donor clinic, you know that we ask an awful lot of questions. And certainly this is no exception. We have put some additional screening measures into place um, to help screen people and, um, and, and those physical distancing measures are certainly in place as well at all of our donor centers, whether it be our permanent center in Barrie or our mobile events. You will find that we have spread everything out uh, to make sure that all the stations are well spread out apart. So you will not be shoulder to shoulder you know, with your fellow donors as you once experienced. So what this is, um, you know, resulting in for us is uh, sometimes a limited, uh, reduced capacity of how many people we can intake um, because of these physical distancing measures. So um, we're doing, you know, our very best to collect every drop of blood that we can uh, because it is critical at this time that we still maintain a healthy inventory for those patients who need it. Well, I don't know that people aren't showing up because of a fear, um, but rather just the, 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 the sheer fact that everybody's having to work from home now, they're taking care of their kids. Um, it's a different world and it's very difficult to manage. Um, so again, just knowing that it's just only those healthy people that are able to donate blood. Um, you know, we encourage them to keep booking and honoring those appointments in the weeks and months to come because it is a bit of a marathon, not a sprint. And we are going to need that blood on an ongoing basis. So um, in my experience, and I have been out at many of the events um, over the last uh, week and a half, and it, it's I, what I see is a is a bit of a, a sigh of relief, I think, from donors when they come in and they see that we have put these measures into place with regards to physical distancing, uh, because again, many are regular donors and they're used to being, you know, lined up in chairs, you know, waiting for their appointment and, 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 and being in a tight space. So we have put those measures into place. And when they do arrive and see that, we are getting a sense of like, Oh, okay, good. I was wondering what you were going to do about that, and I'm glad to see. Uh, and we're even seeing a lot of, you know, posts on social media uh, where people are commending us about our, our distancing measures as well. It is true. You know, a blood donation would certainly um, help with that feeling of, I guess I'll call it helplessness, that we all experience when the unknown happens, and 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 it's just a whole new world for us right now. Um, and we're all coping, uh, and that is certainly, you know, a, a blood donation can certainly make you uh, feel that sense of that you are giving back. So it's it's wonderful to see um, all the new donors, you know, first time donors, and what I like to call first time in a long time. So people who have maybe, you know, donated in years past, but have sort of fallen off the, the, the wagon, if you will, and have, are coming back now and realizing that, yes, this is something I can do, and it's not a great deal of time commitment. And certainly we all seem to have some extra time on our hands. So, um, so it's a great, great thing to do.
Well, what I would like to point out for sure, and especially if you've never donated before, or if it's been a long time, and even if you are a regular donor, I would like to point out uh, a section on our website. If you just go to blood.ca, it's there right on our homepage, um, a whole section on COVID-19. And it's very important because it's all the questions and answers um, that we've been getting from donors as it relates to blood donation, how it affects the blood donation, what measures are we putting into place? And that is a perfect spot to go to if you're thinking about donating or if you have any questions at all. So, you know, our website's always been where there's a great eligibility information and now it's sort of contained in one uh, easy to find spot right there as soon as you go to blood.ca. So I would encourage you to check that out. And then the other thing I will mention is that um, because of all the physical distancing measures we've put into place, at this time, we can only welcome donors who have an appointment. Uh, and it's important to come only at your appointment time. Uh, so we're not taking walk-ins right now. Uh, it's just very important for us to be able to maintain that metered dosage of people into the facility that you, everyone has an appointment.